arms. They aren't quite sure why they did this Camino. The looking for something, you know, the, the burning bush, the message in fire written upon them. This is why you're here. They're two days from the end. If they started from Spain, they've been walking for over a month and they're beginning to uh, panic. Why am I here? Did I waste my time? I'd like to tell them a little story from the uh, tradition of the Tao. In this uh, parable, if you will, two monks are on pilgrimage, an older monk and a younger monk, and they come to a very wide river, not deep, but very wide. And an older woman comes to the older monk and insists that she be carried across the river by him, and he does so. On the far end, she gets off, walks away, and didn't say a word. End of the day, as the two monks prepare to go to sleep, the, the young man turns to his master and says, I'm so angry. And the master says, well, why? He says, I'm angry to have that old woman treated you this morning. And his master says, well, my friend, you must be very tired. And he says, why would you say that? And he says, well, I put the old woman down when I crossed the river, and you have been carrying her ever since. And then I say to the pilgrims, look at your, at your pack. Everything there weighed something. You had to consciously decide what to put in and what to leave aside. You had to decide that the value this provides for you for this journey exceeded the burden that it represents. This is maybe the, lessons, the lesson for this pilgrimage is not what will I gain, but what do I need to let go to make space for something new. I have difficulty with religion, as I have difficulty with the Creator, the concept of the Creator, but I love this creation. And I see the light of divinity in each person. And my job here as a hospitalero is to help each person to realize their dream to make their dreams come true. And I, it's not about me, it's about them. And to be able to help them along the next step, and the next step, and the next step. And to be there to say, you're welcome, you're loved, it's okay, you're in pain. That's part of this very difficult journey of realization. But for tonight, you're safe. You're loved, you're cherished, you'll be taken care of, it's okay. I have had many failures. I say I'm bright, I'm not bright. And I made it through medical school. But when I applied for a residency, they said, okay, what you're standing in your medical school class? And I said, quite honestly, well, I'm proud to say I'm in the upper one-third of the lower one-third of my medical school class. Because I say, I'm in the leading edge of the bell-shaped curve. That has pretty much defined my life. As you will try, you will fail. You will try again, and you will fail again, but you will fail better. So I continue to try. I'm curious. I'm constantly probing the boundaries of my abilities and of the universe to 
figuring out where I fall. And I'm having a wonderful time. I admire, I love people. They're always trying to define themselves, they're always pushing themselves. And you are honest and are not afraid to fail because when we fail, it's when we grow. We're all children of the universe. And when we take a moment, we have so much more in common than what separates us. And if we're honest, if we're kind, if we're humble, we'll find something to cherish and admire in everyone around us. Take that time. It's so worth it.